Here at the Georgia Tech Research Institute, we are developing a system to automatically fill cracks on the roadway. Currently, crack sealing operations are an extremely manual process, but the Georgia Tech system takes the humans entirely out of the loop with the exception of the driver. There is the safety issue with having several people walking around on the road during these crack sealing operations. So the idea is that if you can automate that process, you will help to make it safer plus more cost effective when they do crack sealing on the roads. So the way the system works is first with the vision system. What is unique about the vision system is we have a structured lighting approach. So we have two sets of light emitting diodes or LEDs that are directing light onto the surface of the roadway. So they are doing this in an orthogonal fashion so that some LEDs are pointed in a different direction than the others. By doing this, we are able to bring out the cracks from the roadway and help ease the burden of processing on the image processing software. So once we have identified the crack, we now have to seal the crack. And we are doing this along the lines of how a dot matrix printer works. So as we are driving along, we then fill the cracks using the motion of the vehicle. This only works for transverse cracks or ones that are perpendicular to the direction of the road. We also have another part of the system which fills the cracks that are longitudinal or parallel to the direction of the road. We have tested the system on numerous occasions, once on a roadway in Georgia and at other times on parking lots and other surfaces that had a cracked asphalt. We took thousands of images and by capturing several of these cracks, we were then able to tune our image processing software in order to improve the efficiency of the crack detection software. One of the major challenges of the automated crack detection system and crack filling system is that it needs to operate continuously at five miles per hour. The manual operation currently limits the way they do the traffic control because they have to stop the entire lane because the process runs so slowly. So that means everything is done in real time and that's what really sets this apart. Currently the crack sealing system works on a one foot section of road and we need to scale this up to where it fills a 14 foot wide section of road or a single lane of pavement. There are several challenges ahead but nothing that we feel is unsolvable. We feel that the current prototype system has demonstrated that it is feasible to fill cracks on a 14 foot wide section of road. It is possible to take an idea just a simple idea and develop them fully into a system that will work and actually solve a problem that currently exists for the departments of transportation.